Greetings and welcome to Lantern. I'm Catherine of Sky, and thank you very much to Storm in a Teacup and 1C Company for providing me a key to this game. I'm really excited to play because it looks like such a chill game. So let's just get started. Uh, let's play Summer. So I'm playing uh, with mouse and keyboard and not with um, VR, but you can. space. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Oh, this is so cool. Whoops. Wait, wait, wait. How do I go up? Uh, so I'm moving the mouse. I don't know which is... I've crashed into stuff. Ah, okay, so it's kind of like piloting a, uh, a plane, sort of, where you down is up and up is down. Ooh. You seem to have found the boundaries. Wow, this is so cool. It's so pretty. I wonder if I can um, invert y-axis. There we go. <laughs> oh, no, no, wait. Let's just get out of here. There we go. Aha! There we are. Okay. Yay! Now I can go all over the place. <gasps> wow. Oh, so pretty, the colors. So the story behind this game uh, is that, you know, we have a very sad princess, but we are a lantern spreading love through the world. And obviously love can color the world in many beautiful ways. So that is our goal as a lantern. Oh, this is so cool. So pretty. I had no idea it would be this glorious. What a gorgeous game. Oh, and it's orange. Today my favorite color is orange. This is so handy. Come on, mountain. Okay, so... Oh, we did. So what did we do? I don't know what we did. I just pressed left click. This is cool. So what do we do? Did I miss? Do I need to go? Oh, maybe I just need to do the ground. I think I was flying too high. Wow, this is cool. Oh, there we go. I didn't know if that was supposed to be like a rocky mountain or... Ooh, there's like a gate. Just want to make 
sure and get all of these things, spots, sorted out. Okay, so, is there anything else that we need to color? Come on, you can't resist the love. Let's go. Let's go and get the tops of those trees. Come on, trees. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that left click is, is ping or something. The right click, let's try the right click. I don't know what right click does. Apparently nothing. Maybe? I don't know. <clears throat> Didn't do anything. Just exited me out of that. So what do I do? do I do? Oh my gosh, it made a trail! Okay. Right, let's go back to the fishing hut. Let's see, is there anything else for us to cover over here? I'm honestly not sure how to get to the next area. If I'm done. Oh, maybe that's showing me what I have done. So that's like a progress meter. I noticed it was lower earlier. It looks like... Yes, there we go. I missed that spot. Wow, how beautiful. Lovely. It's a big world. A big gray world. Oh, all the lanterns are going up to the sky. Okay, so I'm going to go up to the edge again and take off this right-clicking thing. Come on. Where am I? Is that remove that trail? Remove the trails. One trails. Do I just hold right click? I don't know. I want to get rid of the trails. <laughs> Alright, well. Is there a way to do it here? No. Alright, fine. We'll, we'll figure it out somehow. through the gate. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, how pretty. These archways are lovely. We're lighting the lanterns as we're going along. <gasps> nice. <gasps> They're deer. Oh, how beautiful. Hey, deer. We're going to get you some grass to eat soon. Right, let's go to the village here. Whoops. I wonder who lives in this village. There's the, the totem, or not the totem? It's a, it's a, it's the progress pole, the center of the world pole. Explore the village and the forest. Figure out where those deer live, they eat, they're hungry. We could possibly buy them some snacks. <gasps> What's this? Oh, it's like a little hut in the middle of the wilderness. Right? Hi, dear. How you doing? Nice. This is so cool. This is like a really cool way to like parkour and explore a landscape. You just kind of, it invites you to explore every single nook and cranny of a world. You know what I mean? It's really, really interesting. And they seem to be putting some cool stuff for us to find too. This little wood. Oh, what is this? See, that's a cool thing to find. I don't know what the heck it means. <gasps> Ooh, 
Path of Wisdom achievement I got on Steam. I don't know if that shows up or not, but sometimes the Steam achievements show on my game, sometimes they don't. So I don't know. But apparently got an achievement for this. Whoa! I guess it's maybe it's kind of like an exploration achievement thing. Kind of you're supposed to find your various paths of the world. Let's go along the mountains here. See if there's anything else to find. There's I love that the deer are like running with me. That is awesome. Is there anything up here? Nope. We've hit the end of the world. Oh. Okay, but it's not giving me those options to turn off the jet trails. Unfortunately. That's okay. We'll sort it out one day. Here's where we came in. Kind of makes you want to explore. Like, where should I be going? Where, where are there extra hidden secrets? Okay, that's the end of the world. Come on, turn around. Turn around, my little lantern. So lucky that orange is my favorite color today. It's awesome. We're gonna have to do like a high level pass here because these trees are all gray. Looks like um, uh, lighting or lant lanterning lighting their uh, their trunks is not enough to bring them all out of grayness. You have to kind of go above them a little bit, maybe. Let's go and get some of these trees on the left side of the road to be organized better. Yay! Oh, I love all those deer. This is a really very chill, cool game, I have to say. I am so enjoying this. It kind of has the feel of like... I don't know, like an adult coloring book. I do like to, to, to draw things in color every now and again. But um, it's like really chill. It's very relaxing. So much nice things. And the graphics are just beautiful. I do love uh, like low poly art, digital art, stuff like this. So this is totally right up my alley. having fun just painting all the trees. Hey trees, we're painting you. We are going to make sure that those deer have somewhere nice to hide. Oops. The lantern itself is kind of floaty, which is why I'm sort of running into things a lot. <laughs> And I'm also tending to look at the buildings and the trees and stuff rather than simply uh, driving properly. <laughs> oh, wow. Cool. Oh, wait, is this, this is that wisdom star. Okay, so this is the same one that we found before. But there might be others in the world. I have no doubt that there are. Because uh, this game seems to be just inviting us to go uh, elsewhere and walk around stuff and things and oh, there's a deer there oh you just free him from you know this sort of prison of, of grayness that totally works for me I mean you know life without color is really rough really really rough it's just color on all the ground here so this is like an interactive coloring book awesome I love it. It is so darn pretty. <laughs> oh, this is a very zen experience. I can highly recommend this for entertainment. Just to chill out, have a nice time. Okay, come on, let's turn around, turn around, turn around. There we go. Okay, so let's get this whole area sorted out. I feel like we're missing this spot here. Tops, 
treetops. There we go. Can we go down? Okay, so you can't really sort of steer while you're not moving. You have to move and steer while you're moving, which I guess makes sense. Pretty. But we're going to go on that side later, not right now. I want to finish up one side at a time. I don't know how, how much of these mountains need to be done. How are you doing, mountains? Ooh, okay. We'll just fly close to the mountains for now. I know there's there's at least a row below me. Wait, is there stuff up here? Ooh, what's up here? I feel like I'm going into dangerous territory. Like, wow, there's a bunch of stuff up here. There's a hole over there that we could explore too. Wow complete with waterfalls. That must be the next area. I'm gonna go back to where I'm supposed to be. Because <laughs> I want to finish one village at a time or else I get overwhelmed with too many things to do. Alright. This is so cool. I love this, I think. I think I actually love this. Just like genuinely love it. Okay, we're gonna. This is a new village. I won't go to the new village yet. Let's do the old village. The first village we came up to. Wait, what was that? There was a ding sound. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, was that a rock here? Oh, no. I don't know what it was. It was a lantern we lit up. I don't know. I would like to get that uh, central column post, the, the progress post in this particular village lit up. That would be nice. Man, the zenness of this game. Totally cool. It's very simple, but it's really fun. Just, you know, just a chill, chill thing. Chill game. There a gray spot there. Go away, gray spot. Would be nice if it kind of like filled in, but maybe it does actually fill in some of the other, like once you get close enough to completion, kind of have this feeling that it might fill in those other spots, small spots. There we go, the ground. Okay, okay village. We're coming back to village proper. Check out everything here. I'm surprised that column is not filled up further, but unless it's just the village village and not all the trees around it. I don't know, I've been spending a lot of time in the forests. Okay, well let's finish going around the houses and stuff. And the lights come on. Oh, how lovely. Hey. Let's look up at this column. Aha, we're almost there actually, which is nice. Okay, let's go here. Maybe it's this area that needs to be. is very relaxing as well. Very nice. Very, very nice. Hey, houses. Oh! Okay. 
Ooh, there we go. We have colored the village. <gasps> There's little bits of smoke coming out of the houses. How nice. People are happy once again. Hey. Oh, it's a fierce dragon. automatically fill in like the rest of the town so, so you can have all of the coloring fun to yourself spreading the love all over the place yay go back here and finish this little hill I don't think we got didn't quite get all of it there we go nice I think the control scheme could use a little bit of maybe because I feel like sometimes I want to back up uh, but you're not supposed to back up I suppose but being able to aim a certain direction would be nice because you can only sort of aim when you're actually moving all right well we did a beautiful beautiful coloring of the village actually we should get these trees I cannot leave this village without the trees being sorted out because the people are going to wonder what the heck happened to their trees, and I don't want to be at fault for this. So we'll color the trees with beautiful green. And leave no one wondering about the gray. Pretty darn beautiful, I think. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Lantern, and I will see you next time. Take care.